Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about an interesting little uh, side issue I've noticed tonight. I'm sure you've all probably seen the show Antique Roadshow. I'm going to discuss the ideology of that show. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about a little show called Antique Roadshow. You know, it's quite a, a kind of a quaint show uh, on the ABC. It has a lot of white people in it. So, you know, I've sat there sometimes and watched it. And sometimes, you know, interesting uh, little items turn up and you think, oh, you know, maybe, you know, you've got something of value like that in your own house. And, you know, it's kind of a show. I think it's popular with uh, the baby boomer generation. You know, I know my mother watches it. So, you know, she's a big fan of it. And, uh, you know, um, all my uh, aunts and uncles who are still alive and that, uh, they all watch it. They love it. So I, I actually just have watched it. You know, you know me, I, I am a bit of a philosopher philosophical thinker so I like to think what what's this show about um, well you know it appears to be about uh, white people who have um, just little items you know like a painting or you know some uh, some box or you know some something you know that their family has collected that's valuable because obviously the whole point is that you found something in your attic that's valuable that your grandparents used to have it's almost the booty of empire that's what they're looking at in that show. They're looking at the booty of the English Empire. And it's brought before some, you know, a feet gay kind of appraiser. He's like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is a lovely box. This is from, you know, the Edwardian era or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's le worth at least 5,000 pounds. So, you know what I mean? Like, this is what it's all about, right? It, and then, so it's basically, this is, it's, it is, and I've watched it a few times just to make sure I'm correct about it. But yeah, it's about white people and it's almost exclusively white people who are selling things, right? So it's, you know, it's like, it's basically like a globalist show where the booty of uh, the English empire is brought forth before the camera and then snatched up by globalists who know the value of things. So that's it, you know? I mean, it's just interesting because I think a lot of these TV shows actually do have ideologies behind it. There's another kind of show I'll talk about. Um, there's these kind of game shows. I mean, obviously there's How to Be a Millionaire, which is always quite a good show. I was even on it once myself. Um, you know, How to Be a Millionaire. And, you know, you can actually, you know, win a million dollars if you answer all the questions correctly. That, that is a show that's a game show. And that it has an ideology of if you have correct knowledge, you win a lot of money. So the ideology of that show I have no problems with. But you see so many shows on the ABC where it's like quest, you know, like quizzes and things. And the prizes are, you know, a, a game of Monopoly or a, a board game or a, or a gift card, you know, or a $20 gift card for the ABC. Now, again, I think there is an ideology behind that. The ideology behind that is that your knowledge is useless. And that, you know, that you might be incredibly knowledgeable. Because some of the shows, you know, are, um, you know, like, really hard. You know, on the ABC, the questions are harder. They're a lot harder than, say, how to be a millionaire. And the reward is fucking nothing. You know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? You know, a big duck egg, ladies and gentlemen. So that is it. So I, I just like to examine the ideology behind these TV shows. And, you know, I think, um, you know, they're, they're about more than what they appear to be on the surface. And uh, it's interesting to think about that because, you know, ideology is, you know, really, what did Slavo Zizek say? He said it's, you know, what we are secretly doing. It's like a program. You know, it's what we secretly do without thinking about it. It's almost like an unconscious programming. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention today on the report for Tiger Mountain. And I hope you appreciated that little diversion.